Hi there, this is Hardik and you are watching Hardik CAD CAM. Today we are making a tire in Fusion 360. All the dimensions for this tire are given over here. So let's start with the new design. Sorry for the interruption. Here I am talking about my course on Udemy. I have created a course on Fusion 360 on Udemy naming animated engine model design in Fusion 360. More than 2300 students enrolled on this course and it has 4 star rating. So if you are interested in this course then there is a link in the description. If you are using that link you will get some discounts and share this link with your friends and family that will help the channel. Thank you very much. First of all what will we do? We will create a circle of 635 mm for the outer ring and for the inner hole we will create a circle of 415 mm. So we will create a new sketch by clicking create sketch. We will select this plane. Now for circle the shortcut is C. I forgot the dimension of the circle that is 635 mm. So we will create a circle. We will start with the origin. We will write down 635 and enter. We will create another circle of 415 mm. For that the shortcut is C. We will click on the origin. We will write down 415 and sorry 415 and enter. Now we go to our section, we will extrude it. For that, finish sketch. The height of this tire is 195 mm. But here what will we do? We will create the half part, half part of this tire and then we will mirror it. So here we will extrude this section to 195 divided by 2. So for extrusion, the shortcut is E. We will select this section. We will write down 195 divided by 2 and enter. Now we need to fillet this edge of this tire. For that the radius is not given. This radius is for the inside part. So we will fillet this. For that the shortcut is F. We will select this edge and we will fillet this approximately 50 mm and ok. Now we need to create this type of grooves in tire. For that what will we do? We will create a sketch on this plane and we will create an arc from this point to this point. For that we need these two lines to be projected on our sketch. For that we will use the project command the shortcut is P. We will select this edge and this one and we will click on OK. Now we got these two lines. Now we will create an arc from this point to this point. For that we will go to create arc and select three point arc. Now we will click on this point, this point and somewhere here. Now we don't need this arc to be lengthy like this. We need this arc to be extended till this point. For that we will create a line somewhere over here and we will trim out the unnecessary part of the arc. Now we will delete these two lines too. Now we got the arc. Now we will finish this sketch. Now we will create a solid bar out of this arc. For that we will use the pipe command and for that we will go to create and select pipe command. Now we will select this arc and the diameter of this pipe will be 7 mm. And we don't want this pipe to be created hollow so we will uncheck this hollow command. And in operation we will create a new body and ok. 
now we got a bar or like this now as you can see that these grooves are at somewhat angle for that we will rotate this bar for that we will go to bodies and we will select this body and we will right click and select move now we will rotate it as per our requirement so first of all we need this pivot to be at our center point of this circle for that we will select this set pivot and we will click on the center and we will click done now we will rotate it for that we will use this handle and we will rotate like this and ok now we will extend this to this point for that we will use the press pull command so we will go to create sorry in the modify we will select press pull we will select this face and we will extend it like this and ok now we will create a groove over here too for that again we will use the pipe command we will select this edge and in operation we will select new body and make sure you don't click the hollow and ok now we will create another groove over here for that we will copy this body or this pipe over here so again we will select this body right click and move and here we will click on the create copy now we will copy this like this ok and ok now we will create grooves for that we will use the combine operation we will go to modify select combine and in operation we will select the cut the target body will be the tire the tool body will be these two rings and ok now we got grooves like this now we will adjust the length of this bar by using the press pull command we will select again this face and we will adjust it like this it looks fine so ok now we will create the copy of this bar across the circle for that we will use the circular pattern command for that we will go to create and in pattern we will select circular pattern here in pattern type we will select bodies we will select this bar in axis we will select this circle and in quantity we will write down 40 40 looks fine so we will click ok now as you can see there is there are more many bodies over here now what will we do we will trim sorry we will subtract this all these bodies from this tire so for that we will use the command operation we will go to modify combine in operation we will select cut the target body will be the tire and the tool body will be all these bars so we will select all these bars till this ok now we will click on ok now we got the grooves like this now we will make this tire hollow from inside for that the diameter is 588.8 mm so we will create a sketch on this plane now we will create a circle of 588.8 mm for that the shortcut is C we will click on the origin we will write down 588.8 and enter now we will finish this sketch and we will extrude it for that the shortcut is E we will select this face and we will extrude it 
as there is no dimension we will extrude it approximately like this and ok now we will create a fillet over here the distance the radius of that fillet is 35 mm so for fillet the shortcut is F we will select this edge we will write down 35 and enter now our, now our tire is hollow now we will create a bar over here for that we will use pipe command ok we will select this edge and the diameter will be 7 mm and in operation we will use the join and ok now as you can see that there is a radius over here like this for that we will create a new sketch on this face and here we will create two circles the diameter of these circles are not given ok now we will finish this sketch and we will extrude it we will extrude it like this ok now we will create the fillet on this edge the diameter or radius of this fillet is not given so we will drag this arrow like this and ok now we got this type of groove over here now our tire is almost ready now we need to mirror this part of this tire to the right side for that we will go to create mirror we will select in pattern type we will select bodies we will select this body for mirror plane we will select this plane and ok now we got these two bodies now we will combine them we will go to modify combine we will select this target body this will be the tool body in operation select join and ok and our tire is ready make this type of tire on your own and if you find any difficulty then repeat this lecture thank you very much